This is Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile reporting on the news for Thursday, December 13th, 2012. Great news everyone! Google Maps is finally available in the App Store and I couldn't be more ecstatic. I bet the Apple office is also breathing a sigh of relief right now. Google's app introduces functions previously restricted to Android devices. Nokia, however, still poses a threat. The Finnish company recently launched its own free Maps app for the iPhone. So it's a dance-off between the two, but for now I will stick to the iPhone and control the urge to switch over to the Samsung Galaxy 3S. Let's see how long I will last. Beliebers, please take a deep sigh of relief. He almost lost his testicles and his life. But police managed to save him in time. Superstar pop singer Justin Bieber was the target of a bizarre plot hatched by an imprisoned Bieber-obsessed murderer who allegedly dispatched two New Mexico men to kill and castrate the teen at his recent Madison Square Garden show. According to court documents, one of those men was busted upstate on November 20th, allegedly with pruning shears that were to be used to cut off Bieber's manhood at a price of $2,500 for each testicle. 23-year-old Tanner Rain and his ex-con uncle Mark Stake were supposed to strangle 18-year-old Bieber and his bodyguard with a paisley tie at the singer's late November show at the garden, then castrate them both. The sickening scheme supposedly was set in motion by Dana Martin, who is serving a life sentence for the 2000 rape and murder of a 15-year-old Vermont girl. Please don't ever let this sicko out. Good thing that Justin Bieber and his manhood are still with us. Russian billionaire Yuri Milner, best known for investments linking consumers to the internet, is placing a bet on genetics. Milner, who backed companies ranging from Facebook to gaming company Zynga, has led a $50 million funding round into 23andMe, a California company that helps people decipher their genetic makeup. His investment shines a spotlight on biotechnology startups, which have taken a backseat in visibility to sectors like cloud computing and internet services. 23andMe, named for the 23 pairs of chromosomes that make up each person's genome, also announced a price drop for its saliva-based test to $99 from $299. And why should we know our genetic makeup? Because we can learn specifics about our ancestry and genetic traits, including the possible conditions and diseases diseases to which we may have a genetic predisposition. I'm sold. I'm Daria Shabbat with Corporate Profile. Make sure to visit our website at corporateprofile.com for more top headlines from around the world as well as interesting business profiles. Post your comments, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.